Let's focus on the research element of an academic CV. In the research section, your main evidence will be your PhD and the outputs from it. At the start of your career, it's usual for the information about your PhD to be included in the Education and Qualifications section of a CV, followed by brief, brief details of your previous degrees. Make sure you include your thesis title, the names of your supervisors, and details of any major scholarships or funded funding you've been awarded. Follow this with a short explanation of your research, written in a narrative paragraph or separated into points. To help you to prepare your explanation, think of delivering a one or two minute thesis presentation and the immediate impact and interest in your research you would want to generate from this. As you reach the end of your PhD, you can plan to include sections identifying the evidence of your research outputs. Titles for this can be publications, conference presentations, abstracts, or posters. Some researchers may have other evidence, such as policy papers, public engagement, art or music outputs. If you have them, make sure you clearly identify them using specific subtitles for these outputs. You can also include additional subsections for any research experiences from other employment or research placements. Some of you may have professional practice experience from such things as clinical, veterinary, educational, social work professions. You may need a CV with both research and practice evidence in it.